I heard footsteps. So Ern woke you up. I've been here for half an hour though. So did you hear? Did you hear footsteps half an hour ago or just now? Just now. Okay. So I was like, yo, someone's in this bitch. Somebody's got a Jedi step. It ain't. It ain't dirty Ern. I ain't talking to anyone else. Five o'clock in the morning. What? You had to watch a vlog at 5 o'clock in the morning. Why? Went up at midnight. They did. Up. No, you weren't. I don't know. It was actually up before midnight. But son, it was up at like 11.30. He tweeted oh. at 11 at 12.16. Yeah, man. Oh. Nice yeah. to meet you. 12.16, son. What were you doing? We hit that Cali lead and I don't know what's oh, up or down. Huh. <laughs> I don't know what's Gone. up or right. How about son hits me up 45 minutes after I'm done outlining his chest? He tapped on it and says, Man, I could This drunk. bitch doesn't hurt at all. Okay. Last night. Last night. Same thing with this fucking fool. He outlined. And I was like, all right, fuck this. I'm gonna go kill myself downstairs. I'm done. And then like 45, like, went outside, went outside, got my life together. And I was like, all right, I'm ready. Like, I was high. I asked like, you. I said, are you done? So I was thinking of doing the outline. I will talk about doing the outline on this side. Mm -hmm. And then probably when Friday hits or some yeah. shit like that, coloring this side. Okay. So when you go back to Houston, this you bitch will be ready. You want to outline it today? Um, you want to do tomorrow? Oh, those up to you? These came out while I was on drugs. They're trash. They're trash? Bro, zoom in on the toe box. Everybody wants, first off, first off. First off. Uh, first off. Don't ask me. I love it. First, he'll love it. I got this dude, I got I got footage of this dude yesterday. Let me make sure this shit is actually on. Yesterday, Disney World, fucking talking somebody up about their fake ass Ultra Boost. Yeah, he's like, those are 1.0s too. And he's looking at his Packers, and yeah. this hand goes into a full on, like, yeah, that's why they got the solar yellow, and the solar orange. <laughs> solar red, by the way. He's like, solar <laughs> conversation. Dude, the best the part is. No, 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 no. <laughs> the best part is Ultra Boost, and he's got on fucking Nike socks. <laughs> the entire I didn't even realize. These two, I'm literally online, and the two people in front of me are comparing their boosts on a wall, so I just take yeah, my fights. Like, yeah, I'm my man's like, mine looks fake, can you tell? <laughs> You walked up and you're like, nice Ultra Boost. <laughs> I put the Meanwhile, I had my Jedi, uh... Your robe? My robe on. You bought that? I bought that. Yeah. I bought it. I did it for the vlog, I'm just so you know. So I did. Are we I paying for it? Did it for the no, 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 but I was like, I think this will be more of an entertaining Star Wars vlog if I'm wearing the fucking tunic. So, yeah. It was 70 bucks, which isn't bad. Oh, Dude, that's damn. not bad. They had robes with the hoods, which you're not allowed to wear in the park, but like the official robes were like fucking 200. They had the full, you know, when like Luke jumps out of the X-Wing and he's got like the orange suit on and the helmet and the, they have the, all the stormtroopers. They don't actually talk. They have traitors for like 50 different things in their hand. It's if they see you dressed as a Jedi, it's more immersion because they think you want to play along. So they came up to me in my robe and he looks like you believe in legends, like saying the Jedis are like legends. And I walk past Boba Fett in the regular park. Dude just starts like coming at me like this, just looking at me and he goes, Jedi scum. We go on eBay right now and the crystals for some of the lightsabers like the odd colors are going for like fifteen hundred dollars and shit and there's reddit threads that are miles long of these like nerds trying to take basically the crystal is a key fob it's a rfid chip that goes it's in. a flashlight i mean let's just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah well like, listen i get it it's all themed and it's cool and to, before i talk mad shit about it i'm probably gonna end up going to the florida one because we're already planning on going to florida and you do get to pick your own pieces so it's different from the next guy and you get to pick sort your cup sort of it's all one basic. I, I should have brought it over because it's heavy as fuck. Like it makes you feel, you don't feel like you got a shitty toy. You're like, you don't wow, feel like you built a like, flashlight. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like, Disney in itself, the culture is like. I know, it's insane. Everything's exit through the gift shop. Every single yeah. ride <laughs> comes out in a fucking gift shop themed around that. Oh my god, I gotta bring my car, but then I wanna come back and tell you more stories. I can't wait. I met a porn star named April O'Neill. Next thing you knew, I was like, oh, so what do you do? She's like, well, I cosplay. They call me April O'Neill. I'm also a porn star. She's a lot dirtier online than when you meet her. Oh, All right. At least, at least you know it's not natural. We just get together. <laughs> it was <just> like <laughs> at 9:30 in the morning. You're fucking on one. Yeah, what do you think this is? I, I get it. I'm just saying. I like it. I like to see. Well, yeah, you home from vacation? No, it wasn't vacation. There's one day of vacation. Okay, what was your story uh, here about? So this? I drop off my car. She's like, we'll probably get to it in like October. I'm like, what? She's like, you could try another body shop, but that's basically like what it is around. I've been dealing with fucking Xfinity all goddamn week, and then finally someone's like, oh, the modem you have doesn't work with one gig internet. 0.5 upload speed here. We pay for a gig. So we have to go take that fucking modem back. The exact same combo we have at the house to put here. Okay. All right. So 
Today is kind of a wash. So, I don't really even know where to start. It's just been kind of all over the place. Back to the dispensary this morning because there was an issue with some wax that I got. I don't really want to get into it yet and see what they do, but basically the quality was not on par. So I had to hit the company up. A lot of running around. Returning modems, buying new modems, internet bullshit. You know the deal. It happened here, it's happening there. Long story short, I had to spend like four or five hundred dollars on new routers and yada yada yadas. Because I don't want to use the Comcast router because that shit's. We're gonna go out to dinner tonight, but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen either. I'm just gonna call it an early day. Catch my breath. There's been a lot going on that I can go off. There's been a lot going on. I've answered all my emails. I'm booking out tattoos for August right now. I'm almost booked for August, I guess. Well, a little bit of space in August. I don't know what's up with September yet. I might be coming to Florida in September. And then in October, I'm probably gonna be in Japan. Early September, you can probably get in. Florida, most likely mid-September. Probably be home at the end of September, but. Um, I don't know for sure. Other than that, I've been cleaning my office today, trying to organize this fucking chaos that's left in here, but it's not really going that well. There's so much stuff. Anyway, shout out to Stock Motherfucking X, helping me become the reflective god. One motherfucking pair at a time. Didn't work. So, all right, also let's go ahead and talk about it. Nice Kicks Ultra Boost. Now listen. I think people think, they hear the word influencer and they think that that means you're supposed to be influenced to buy something. You know, especially brands, they hear that word, influencer, like, hey, influence them to do this. Which is why the brands don't fuck with me. This is also why you don't open boxes of scissors, because you will cut the box. Brands, fucking up. Here's the thing. Influencer means I'm going to give you my real opinion, or else I'm just a puppet. Or else. I'm not an influencer, I'm an influencer. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here lying. Influencing my bank account only. Here's the thing with the Nice Kicks Ultra Boost. It doesn't make too much sense to me. One, I get that they're trying to make a play off of their hippie vibes from before, but that had context. The reason that that Nice Kicks NMD exists is because there is a Nice Kicks on Hate Street. Hate in Ashbury. Hate in Ashbury is actually where hippies used to fucking hang out. Makes sense. Woodstock, New York, as far as I know, one, Woodstock is just kind of a weird thing that every so often people try to bring back. It's an, inst it's an American institution, I guess, now, but it's also kind of weird. Um, it's more of a, yeah, more nostalgia bullshit. But they're trying to play this new Ultra Boost off because it's the 50th anniversary of Woodstock. Yes, 50th, I don't even know. Uh, it's just like, whatever, like, cool, okay, cool, that's the story. You, you get past all that non-contextual shit. The upper, you can see the white right through. Same problem we had on the, uh, the marble NMD. Same problem that you have, uh, a couple of issues, uh, Pharrell's, that white shining through, it's kind of an L for me. So, I'm not interested. If they sent them out for free, I'd probably wear them once to check them out, but it wouldn't be a heavy rotation shoe. It's just too late. I don't know if Matt Hatfield has anything to do with it. I just, yeah, it's just, yeah, sorry, you know? Like, can't reheat steak. Can't put no flame on it for so long and then just come back and expect at least me to jump in on it. Anyway, I'm not, not jacking that. Not jacking the Manchester Ultra Boost, even though that upper does look really nice. I'm not into the rose on the bad. I think that's probably the Manchester rose, so I'm sorry for the offense, but I personally don't like it. Anyway, 350. Reflective. Lunge mark. Then... These are those. I can't really tell color-wise. I don't think I really like this color. It's kind of whatever. Let me turn on another light and get a better look. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's just like cream. Literally just like cream. The light in here is awful, I will admit, but yeah, that one's kind of subpar. I'm not so into the Lundmark reflective. Let's make sure they're reflective. So those might just be going back out. That's 13. I mean, in comparison, let's see, where's the other? The static, it's, I mean, it's definitely a different color, but it's not enough for me. It's not far enough off for me. It's really close. I mean, it's definitely creamed out, but it's really, really close. I mean, the sole itself is a darker color. The innards are definitely like have a more like clay base, but the muppers are mad close. It's just like a tone off. Yeah, this is the lineup for me. These lawn marks gotta go. But I'm still gonna use it for the clout, bro. It's nighttime. 
It's like nine o'clock. I just got done twitching for a little bit on this new mission to consume all Punisher media. Gotta start the Punisher 2004. Last night we watched the 1989 version. You zonked. You play with your girlfriend all day. All right, splap. We're at the shop. It's early. Uh, it's like 9.30. Castillo is still asleep, I'm sure. I had an appointment today, but she, my, my chick had to reschedule for tomorrow. Maybe, if I have time. But we're gonna go scoop Dirty Urn. I've been fucking with him all morning, only speaking to him like Yoda, uh, and only in the form of Jif. He also shaved his face off and looks like a live action Mr. Peanut. The extra limp biscuit. You look like Fred. Oh, the hat you, too. Yeah. Yeah, the hat too, <laughs> as if you didn't look in the mirror. Yeah. What is that hat? It's. I know you you probably hate it. It's, yeah, it's, it's really bad. It's really weird, dude. It's uh, I'm not talking shit. About I know it. you're not gonna talk shit about it. I am. It smells like yeah. cigarettes too. You know the fucking weed that I had was a mix of like I had shake <laughs> laid of over tobacco and no, it's not tobacco. You but shaved I... your face, so now you smoke spliffs. No, no, no. no. I definitely <laughs> don't smoke spliffs. You look like you smoke spliffs. Right on tour. You look like you carry <laughs> around burnt <laughs> joints in your pocket. Well, I didn't bring it in the car purposefully. I had it was a burnt joint that was half put out last night that was from mixed weed what I do is my shitty shake weed I roll up this is my new technique I roll up <laughs> like if I know that I might just throw it away like mm -hmm. I'm not trying to enjoy the whole joint like, I'm going for a walk and I'm like yo I'm probably gonna just walk around the block I'm gonna throw half this away I'll just roll up some shake and I saved that shake joint and then this morning on the way out the door I was like oh shake joint but it did taste and this smell is a long like story cigarettes. for about why you smell like cigarettes yeah we're going to the shop we're putting together this video and then we'll get some Japanese food okay cool anything else I wasn't listening to you anymore. Oh, fuck. Shit. That was really good. That is and for all you non-friends and family, the coloring book will be here in six to seven days and immediately <laughs> shipping to you. I wish everyone worked weekends like we do, and it would be here even quicker. This isn't my scrap pile. This is actual bud right here. It's just squished in my pocket. Oh, okay. oh. Weren't you rolling a joint? Yeah, I started seeing Japanese, <laughs> Japanese monsters. Of course you haven't. You haven't seen anything but Phantom Menace. No, but you know what I want to see? Phantom Menace? No, <laughs> there was a ride we went on. You like Phantom Menace? <laughs> Mr. Toad? Yes, you do. Yeah, Mr. Toad's, <laughs> Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. The story is scary. don't drink and drive or you'll go to hell. You get on, you're in a little car. It's an old car. It's, it is an old cartoon, yeah. right? But he ends up in hell. I just think it's weird that they have hell. Like, all of a sudden. Why? He, they did that on kinds of cartoons. Yeah, I guess so. But I, you know, these fucking weird. You're so soft, bro. No, you're the, the reason, world is so soft. You're the reason, no, no, no. but you're saying you think I'm just saying hell. I'm surprised because the world is so soft when I still see things like that, I go, oh, that's cool. You're like the people They're... who are mad at Tom Brady. No, but I'm not mad. I'm excited. I see hell and I'm like, oh, word. We're still doing hell here? All right, Disney. Disney is hell. Why well, they do hell the best. They created it. Jedi Strikes Back. It's me shit. I've never seen any of this. No. Never. No. Well, he'll definitely let you watch one through well, three. Because he has no, start with four. Yeah. Phantom Menace all day. My His favorite character is Jar Jar. Do you, I thought you do like the movies, Teddy. I what, can never Star tell. Wars? Yeah. Yeah, I like the, yeah, I love Star Wars, but I don't like people who like Star Wars. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you're that way with anything, and so yeah. am I. You like sneakers, but you don't like people who like it's sneakers. It's for me, bro. You like tattooing, but you don't like the tattoo culture. I'm just so tortured. Yeah. <laughs> You like being a tortured artist. Some girl's like, I'm done dating creatives, and it said, got to date a banker that knows his dad. <laughs> I've seen them all. Oh, yeah, I've seen oh, almost okay. everyone. I don't talk about things I don't like without seeing them. You know what I mean? Like, I've Oh, you don't like Tarantino. I forget. You, there's certain things you like, and then a lot of things you don't like. I know. I always so you have to track. listen to the words that come out of my mouth and remember yeah. them. Yeah, well, I listen. It's the remembering. So you're telling me you didn't like, what's the one with the slaves? Did Django? Django? No, Django? I didn't. I watched it with Diddy. I didn't like it at all. Did Diddy like it? Diddy likes everything. Yeah. Diddy hasn't not liked a movie in his entire life. Like, oh, this, this what is, about? It's deeper, deeper than this. Yeah. No. Ah, yeah, look what at about, it. What about? So you don't like Pulp Fiction at all? I, I hate Pulp Fiction. Not, I don't love Pulp Fiction. Look, Quentin, but, I think the movies are like aesthetically pleasing and they're interesting and sometimes edgy, but they're not that well written. They're full of fucking plot holes every single fucking time. Gross obsession with rape, like that just isn't really needed in most of the plots. Like it's just kind of like what the fuck? Why? Quentin Tarantino lets his own like personal downfalls seep into his writing, and it's not good. It's not. There's no. You like the aesthetic? Yeah, that's it. I don't love. Listen, I'm, I don't love don't like Quentin the plot Tarantino, but there's there's shit. movies of his. What that, plot? What plot? What plot? Of his is just like that you took away something from, and you were like, damn. No, I guess not yeah. plot, but just the action. It what keeps you movie? busy. It, to me, so you like the aesthetic? Yeah, it's to fine. me, it's yeah. like a fun time. But it's like, I mean, go to the movies to have me, a fun if time. If you gave me $16 million, 
this okay. story. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. You're talking about people who are in position. It's no different than Michael Jordan or anybody else. If they're in position to play, then sure, they're great. But how many people are in position to play? Tarantino will tell you he doesn't make good movies, and he'll say, but people keep fucking going to see them, so I'm going to keep making them. They're not great, though. They don't. They can't rewatch them. I don't rewatch them. What did I like? I gotta look up. We can go down the list. Jackie see. Brown is pretty Jackie good. Brown has Jackie a plot. Brown's a good That's movie. the best yeah. plot. Because that is a surprise best. ending. And, and it's got Pam Greer in it. Wrong. And yeah. It's cracking and running. What's the one where Homeboy had the tattoo of his neck? I don't know why I'm looking at you. You weren't even alive when the shit came out. <laughs> I'm gonna look up Quentin Tarantino. That was a good one too, but again, amazing. Like, it's not amazing. When's That's... the last time you watched it though? Because a lot of people who talk to me about Quentin Tarantino movies aren't talking to me from their 30 year old self. They're talking to me from their 16 year old self that snuck in to kill Bill and would like yeah. it no matter what because Uma Thurman was in a jumpsuit. By the way, if you shoot a gun in a neighborhood, the police are gonna show up in a few minutes. So I don't know where the fucking Kill Bill is just shooting through cereal boxes nobody showed up. Also, if you sexually molested somebody in a fucking hospital bed for a year, I'm imagining someone would notice. I do too, yeah, but, but I, I, get, I get that scene. I mean... I was there for it. What? I mean, I, it just creeps people out. It's one Why of those do fears. Why you that, though? Saying he's a shock artist. It's definitely cool. what he's... I mean, he, it's like old school, like, hands come flying off and blood goes yeah, squirting there. That. That's one movie you're referencing. He did that in one movie. What movie was that? Kill Bill. Oh. And that's also an homage to another artist. Yeah. Do you need something, huh? To that guy? Sure. Oh, did I not do that? My bad. Sorry. Sorry, I'm in here wilding out about Quentin Tarantino. I'm really burying myself because if I put any of this shit in the vlog, people are going to be like, Fuck Teddy! Make oh, your yes. own movie! Why don't you? I love Quentin Tarantino. Man, Quentin Tarantino. Man. Quentin Tarantino is like the guy in the back of the class that has to get attention for just being weird. <laughs> 100%. Like, I'm weird! I came to school. And you hate Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson can suck my fucking dick, bro. We got first in the beef. Well, his movies are good either, but... <laughs> he first. does. He was rude to Teddy at rude. some time in his life. And Teddy really? said, fuck that dude yeah. forever. Yeah. Oh, so this is like a real life scenario? Yeah, Because oh, okay. I liked Moonrise to, Kingdom. To snub Did you, uh... Who do you like that does movies? I don't know. Yeah. I don't I actually don't even pay attention to the people that make movies. I just watch the movies. What's the latest movie? Did you like Ready Player One? Yes. I like that a lot, too. I thought, were we talking about Stars the other day? Ready Player One was good. Stars Born. The Stars Born is not good. It's I haven't seen that yet. Nah. Yo, you liked it. I haven't seen it, but my boy Teddy said he was feeling it, son. No, I was talking about how I had to watch that and Creed on a plane, and by watching both of them, I, by the time I landed, I was all sad. It's like, That's good. Leather tongue. having a bad rose, though. <laughs> the rose is well, shit. because the rose is on a leather tongue, so I don't know if that is it. The Manchester Rose is it? Like yeah, the Manchester rose? rose. Yeah, they need to redesign. What is and Manchester? Manchester. Manchester. Soccer, soccer that's what I was gonna guess. And they have a leather, they have a leather tongue, and then they also have a leather uh, cape, which is like super. Fun. You might want a half size. Monday Phoenix came in. You know, you like them? They're tight though, huh? They're just a little tight at the wording, of course, because of the tape. But yeah. oh, you're an expert now, of course, to tape, as you know. Of course, as you know, is a long time. If you are a wife, dude, I think starting in the future, I'm gonna see what time the bus stop is the most packed. I'm gonna get a camera set up, maybe just a GoPro, I'll figure out the miking. Then I'll sit on the bench with a joint and just interview bus stop people. You know, not all the time, but here and there, if something looks interesting. I think I got a real idea here. Or should we smoke this joint right out back? Yeah. Go be with God. He's like, God's gonna sit this one out. But he says it all like, God's gonna sit this one out. <laughs> I'm just like, what? It's super soft. It's Even when it ends, it ends with a slow fade out and not just a fucking aggressive. I need my Punisher to torment it, dude. Yeah. I need my Punisher to fucking rip your eyes out with his bare hands and fuck. Is dude. the comic better than the movie? The shit I'm reading right now is super gross, yeah. like super gnarly. But we're working our way up to the TV series. But she's already given like a fucking one out of 10 just for that. Well, I tried to watch the TV series once before and I got super bored. What year is the TV series? It just, it just started happening. 16? And is it that same? Same actor? It's the dude from The Walking Dead. It's the dude from The Walking Dead, which is why I stopped watching it. Uh, I can't stand it. Uh, have you seen The Walking Dead? And then is there an... Uh, yes, I've seen parts of The Walking Dead. And then, if I really want to do it right, I have to, I guess, watch Daredevil. Doesn't Punisher make an appearance in Daredevil? Season? Yeah, towards the... Yeah, like season two. What was Punisher's first appearance ever? Do you know Spider -Man. that? Spider-Man. It was in Spider-Man? He came to kill Spider-Man because Spider-Man killed Green Goblin, or they thought.
Mark's wife did. We've been drinking sake. No, we haven't been drinking sake. I've been drinking sake. Four o'clock. It's almost four. Four. Oh, it's one ten. You said you were Mexican. So I. You're Mexican? Hey, what were those people called? No, they literally said to me, we're Mexican superheroes. So I just. I thought you would know. And you did know. I, mean, I do know, yeah. So, so I guess you're. I guess you're, I guess, yeah. they have like hammers. I guess you wrote they're racially they're profiled they're correctly they're this time. <laughs> no, this time. We're Mexican superheroes. You've probably never heard of us. And I said, no, I haven't. And then you said at lunch you were Mexican, so then I just thought maybe you knew who the superheroes were. <laughs> My man put two and two together. Then, dos and dos, man. Dos and dos. Dos y dos, man. <laughs> Piche, no mames, man. Have a good day. <laughs> Still a little buzzed. Not wrecked, but nice buzz. And then, uh, looks like I'm getting tattooed tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow. Hey, what's up? Let's go outside. Not the front. Hey. 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 Oh, some fresh gear. I think so. It's a box. Other stuff. Let me bring that in right now. All right, come on. I know. No, you little recovery dog. Let's go. Abner, come on. Koala box. I'm open tomorrow morning. I don't, I don't have the capacity in my brain right now. Shout out to Koala though. Shout out to the Jean Gang. For those that don't know, when I wear jeans, it's Koala. Nine times out of ten. All right, that's the day. Peace.